Oh, I'm almost 13. Um, I have to turn 13 in uh, 10 days. So, and I, uh, and I just don't really have, uh, I don't have much to do in my daily life. But, you know, I'm at LinuxCon right now, so I have lots to do. You said Linus is your hero? Yep, uh, Linus Torvalds is kind of my hero because I've used uh, Linux for about a couple years now. And I'm, I'm still loving it. What brought you to Linux Con? There was a um, it was a school project on, so everyone had to write to their hero or something. Everyone was uh, like I don't know writing to their favorite celebrities, but I wrote to my hero Linus Torvalds, and you know I said hi I'm Zach Dupont I use Arch Linux. Um, on my laptop. I like it because I can configure the system to my intent. It uses the Pac-Man uh, package manager and uh, system D. And uh, what's your distribution of Linux? And uh, so anyways, my mom got a call later, like in the summer. And apparently I, they were planning to fly me to Chicago and and fly me to Chicago so I could meet Linus Torvalds and go to the Linux con. Did you meet him? Yep. What did he tell you and what did you tell him? He uh, signed my uh, Linux Linux Bible, which is actually just a guide to using Linux, which helped me a lot. And he gave me a copy of uh, Just for Fun, which is a signed copy, actually. Mm -hmm. And I actually have a picture of him signing that book. Mm -hmm on my, uh, I think on my Twitter timeline. Mm -hmm. So, so I uh, got to go to the Linux con. How did you come to know about Linux? I heard about a, an OS called Ubuntu and about like, uh, I don't know, I think about 2012. And um, I started experimenting with Ubuntu in a virtual machine on the family PC. And when I actually got my own laptop, um, I installed Ubuntu on it a few months later because I was tired of the preloaded Windows 8 and since then I've really started to you know love Linux and so how did you come to know about Ubuntu how did I come to know about Ubuntu yeah. um well I've seen uh, I've seen like I've seen people mention you know talk about Ubuntu and uh, I've actually uh, had this book on uh, how to uh, tweak and hack your Windows operating system and uh, there's actually this tutorial. There was actually this tutorial on how to install Ubuntu in a virtual machine. Okay. That's kind of where I had uh, start to started to know about Linux. And there was also this other tutorial on how to boot a live uh, Linux session using the Nopix live uh, disk mm -hmm. system. And uh, that's pretty much what got me, you know, knowing about Ubuntu. And oh, this is kind of great. But I had a really uh, dumb PC back then, like uh, in 2011 or 2012 when I had that book. Um, the PC was like Windows XP Professional from like, I don't know, the early 2000s and it just didn't work well with the uh, virtualization um, for, you know, modern OS's. So when I had the chance to um, try it out on the uh, family PC, which was better, 8 gigs of RAM, Windows 7 from 2009, I think. Um, it actually worked, and I actually loved the Ubuntu experience, um, especially with 12.04. You know, it was stable. I mean, and I started actually experimenting with other Linux distributions on the actual computer. You know, dual booting while still keeping the Windows 7 on the, that was preloaded. And, you know, when I got my first laptop, I said, hey, I should probably install Linux on this, and it was really great, you know. It was really stable, and I just had a better experience with Linux than I had with uh, Windows operating systems. Um, and now you use OpenSUSE, you said? I don't use OpenSUSE now. I'm mm -hmm. just kind of a distro hopper, mm -hmm. you know. Especially on the Gateway, which isn't my main laptop, and I like to experiment uh, with the different distros. 
I think what I want to do next is uh, Gen 2 Lynx. Mm -hmm. And because I've heard that's, uh, that's uh, kind of cool, you know, being able to build your own software from source. I mean, I, I mean, like uh, customize packages you install from source. I mean, I've installed Arch Linux before, and I actually on my main Dell laptop, I've actually installed uh, Arch Linux um, on it like uh, eight months ago, mm -hmm. and I've used it as my uh, main operating system on it, on it since then, and. You know, I just had a really great experience with Arch Linux. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you love uh, about Linux? All the distributions are free. It is open source, and I can uh, configure it to my intent. And it, it's uh, it doesn't really need. Uh, it, it's just it seems a bit more stable than something like Windows. Mm -hmm. I still need to use Windows, but only for certain programs, like Sony Vegas. Okay. And um. You know, I love Linux. The community is great. They can help you with uh, anything, whether you're a beginner or you've used it for quite a while. The Linux community, because um, Linux is uh, Linux is just really community based. Being Linux being open source, it just it's really focused on the community. Mm -hmm. On like uh, you know Windows, where there has to be you know certain developers. It's closed source, you know. It, same thing goes with other closed source uh, OS operating systems and uh, programs, but open source, you know, it's really focused on the community and uh, Linux um, is like one of those o operating systems and it's actually one of the biggest open source operating system uh, collaborative uh, projects mm -hmm. I've heard, so, you know, that's why I uh, love Linux. Uh do you use just open source operating system or you use open source applications as well you know on windows oh i like to use some uh open source app open source uh, applications as well um you know there's a lot of them LibreOffice, uh firefox or ice weasel on debian and let me see some uh, let me think um vlc i think is open source yep and Chromium is there. Oh, Chromium, yeah. That's the open is there. That's what Chrome mm -hmm. is actually based on. Mm -hmm. So, some of my uh, favorite uh, open source applications. Okay. And on my Gateway laptop, I have a dual boot system between Windows 7 and Debian GNU Linux. Mm -hmm. um, Windows is only for certain programs, and I don't use it that much. Debian is, you know, is for most of the, you know, things that I would usually do on a computer. Anything that's compatible with Linux, I'll run on Linux. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to c contribute any code back to Linux or any other op open source project? Well, once I get better at programming, sure. Mm -hmm. Do you file bug reports? Uh, I don't really file any bug reports, but I uh, probably should. Mm -hmm. You know, this and that. I just don't experience uh, many bugs with the uh, Linux. Which, do, uh, which, uh, or which certain programs. Which desktop environment do you use? Well, um, I like a lot of desktop environments. Currently, on my Debian install, I use XFCE. Okay. Have you tried KDE? Oh yeah, I've tried KDE before. And it's uh, it's great. It's another great uh, desktop environment. It just doesn't work great with the gateway laptops hardware. Mm -hmm. It did with the Dells though. I mean, the Dell had four gigs of RAM, so it was a uh, it would run KDE smoothly and wobbly windows, all those cool effects. What message do you have for people your age? Um, sh should they use Linux? Um, people my age, I'm going to tell them to use Linux. Um, well, uh, if you uh, don't have much to do on uh, Windows, if you don't have any uh, Windows exclusive uh, programs and you want to mainly use Linux, I mean, Linux is a great operating system. It's stable. It's, um, you, there's many distributions for your uh, taste, you know, and whatever you need. So you can get a, um, you can get like a basic Linux distribution, and if y you can dual boot it with your current Windows or Mac installation, Windows and Linux dual boot is pretty easy nowadays, and so you can install it alongside Windows, whatever distribution you uh, choose, and. I mean, the Linux experience is a great experience. Um, 
I mean, if all you do is, uh, you know, web browsing and other things that you can do with Linux, then Linux would be great because if you're just a person who does just those things, why would you need Windows? I mean, if you can do the same, if you can get the same outcome on Linux. Is it hard for people to use Linux or is it easy now? Anyone can do um, that? Well, depending on what distribution you choose to use, I mean, if you're using a beginner distribution like Ubuntu or Linux Mint or um, Fedora Linux, um, I think the um, I think it'll be a great experience. It'll be very easy to use, um, but something uh, a bit challenging for new users such as Arch Linux or Gen two or Debian Linux. Um, you know, we're gonna have to learn uh, some stuff before you get your hands on uh, something like. Uh, you know, those distros I just mentioned.